uh, Chief said the plan was to win 4-0. Obviously things don't always go to plan, but you must still be pretty happy with a goalless draw on the road. Yeah, look, we would have loved to have won, but pretty happy with the result, and now it's all in our hands uh, this weekend. You got off to a great start, two couple of early chances. Did that still, I suppose, a bit of belief and a bit of help the side compose? Yeah, look, I think we started well. I think we needed to maintain that. But look, Victory are a good side. They came into the game and uh, we defended well and we made sure they, they didn't score. Melbourne came back into the contest and made the defence work. Were you expecting that intensity from them? And how challenging was it to, to nullify their attacking threats? Yeah, of course. Look, finals games are always intense, so that wasn't a surprise for us. Um, and look, we defended really well, really proud of the team, and um, now we're focused on this weekend's game been a lot of praise for your individual performance. Was there thoughts of you know leading by example or anything similar to that for you heading to that game or is it just business as usual? Yeah just business as usual. Um, look big games everyone everyone stood up last night which was really pleasing and um, like I said really happy with the result and we go again next weekend. Back home now in Wellington of course how does that change everything? What does that the week look like? Oh look, we're, we're excited for the game, big crowd, big occasion, um, we're focused on that, we're going to have a good training week and uh, we're really looking forward to it. More than 20,000 tickets sold, Chiefy hoping to, to pack the cakes in, what would it mean to you and, and all the players if you did manage to get say 34,000 at Sky Stadium? Oh look, that would be unbelievable. Um, I think we deserve it, I think Wellington deserve it and I think that'll be awesome for the club and all the players. We've uh, really given it everything this year and hopefully we get a good crowd to, uh, to show us that they support us too. And lastly for Broden, any message for the fans? Oh, just support us like they have all season, um, fill the stadium and make as much noise as you can. And uh, from Team McDougall as well, at News Hub. Uh, Chief is feeling pretty positive after last night's game. Is, is that how the team is reflecting on the draw too? Yeah, look, we are positive. I think, like I said, the result we're happy with. Um, I think in terms of uh, performance, defensively we were pretty solid, but I think we can be a lot better and we'll show that this weekend. And now that you've played the first league, what element of your game will you need to focus on, do you think, to get the job done in the second league? I think for us now, just focusing on what we can control, and that's you know making sure we we attack them, we put the pressure on them like they did to us. Um, we can be better with the ball. We know that, and we'll make sure we work on that this week and make sure we're better. Looking back to the first game of the season, way back in October, can you believe you'd be in the position you are now? Look, we were confident in our, um, in our ability. We were confident in each other, and you know as the season went on, we we started to believe more and more that we would be a top side and. Here we are, and now look, we can't look back. We have to look forward, and that's uh, this weekend against Melbourne. And to those who maybe not have followed the team all season, how big would you, you know, tell them this Saturday's game is? Oh, look, it's the biggest in the club's history. Um, so get down and watch us. We'll put on a show, and it's going to be a great game. Um, so yeah, get down, make as much noise as possible, and uh, we'll do the rest. What impact can the fans have? Oh, look, our, our fans have always been an extra man for us at home. I believe we've got the best fans in the league and I think if we sell, sell out the stadium it'll, it'll be amazing. What an atmosphere, what an occasion, we're looking forward to it. And do you have a favourite chant or anything you want to make sure that the fans who maybe don't go to games learn Saturday? Oh look they're all pretty good and I think when fans are there they'll pick up pretty quickly what, what the chants are so no they're all good. Thank you for being Mark. Um, the one particularly that involves you, the chant, where was that born from, do you know, how long has that been around for? Oh, I'm not sure when it was when it was brought in, um, but yeah, look, it's in a it's a good chant, and you know it gives me a bit of a lift, and I know that the other players get a lift from it too. So it's all the chants are really really good. Can you think of any particular time during the season when they, the team's been a bit flat and the, the crowd or the yellow fever has lifted you? Any particular matches that they've got you over the line? Yeah, um, I. I answered that question from Piney a few weeks ago and look, I think uh, Western Sydney at home when we came back, oh, we were, it was nil-nil sorry and we scored two late goals, they were amazing for us that game and um, Melbourne victory when we had a man down for most of the game, they were amazing that game and we came back and drew, drew the game late. Um, so yeah, there, there's been a lot of games throughout the year where they've really made a difference for us and um, hopefully they can do the same for us this weekend too. You're in a hostile environment yesterday. Um, seem to be very calm and composed right throughout. Is, is that a thing that's more recent perhaps or the Phoenix in terms of getting to big games and you know, getting through and not letting anything 
else. Yeah, yeah, I know we yeah. all got that we Oh, look, I think big occasion, big game, hostile environment. Um, but those are the games you want to play in. Um, I love playing away from home, especially at Victory, amazing atmosphere. Um, and I think all the players stood up really well, and, um, but we've done that all year, so we've prepared well for it. And um, like I said, really proud of the team, but now we can't worry about what's happened. We have to focus on this weekend's game and make sure that we win the game.